I've seen some amazing, complicated things accomplished in the energy industry, and I've seen those done very safely. Safety isn't a policy, it's not a procedure. It's about respecting the people you work with, helping each other out, thinking about the things that are at stake for you if you're not safe. We believe that excellence in safety leads to operational excellence in running our business. We insist that people that work for us share our commitment to safety. We expect that everyone that's working on our site, that safety is their top priority for themselves and for everyone else on that location. Think of everybody out there as part of your family. Treat everybody with respect and just look out for each other. It's about creating that team dynamic where everyone is responsible for safety. We see thousands of near misses in our company and I wish it was zero. I love it that people report them because we're learning and trying to always prevent it and communicate it. But I can tell you from the privileged position I have where I get to see all of the data, stuff that you don't expect happens all the time. Unfortunately, early in my career, I was directly involved <clears throat> working at a gas plant in the foothills in Western Alberta with a very serious safety incident. A small amount of a foam pig that we used to clean the lines was stuck in the valve, held back the pressure, and the water came out at a rate that wasn't expected and followed uh, with a gush of uh, gas that was laden with H2S. Now these two guys uh, were down immediately. As a very young man, I was in an ambulance with people that uh, didn't make it. And all of that could have pre been prevented with um, one minute of uh, just putting on the safety equipment and just not taking shortcuts and thinking about the potential outcomes. This is almost 30 years ago, and I can tell you there's not a day goes by when I don't think about it. And I don't want you to ever have to uh, experience that. I actually got hurt on, on one of these service rigs behind me when I was a roughneck. I was spinning rods and the derrick hand dropped the rod transfer uh, while I was spinning those rods and it ended up going through my hard hat and knocking me out. When I woke up, I didn't know anything had happened, obviously, and the first thing I saw was my crew standing around me, a couple of the guys pretty upset over what was happening. It's not a great feeling. It's never good to, to hurt someone, and we never intend to hurt anybody. Uh, but when it does happen, it's usually just a few small little things that all happen together in succession to cause something to happen. You need to look at every single thing that you do every day. It doesn't matter how many times that you've done it before, you have to go through it. You have to do your checklist. You gotta make sure that everything's in working condition. And when you do it day in and day out, time and time again, it gets a bit redundant, uh, but it's those little things that uh, will make it safe for everybody out there. I urge everyone working on our site, if you're not sure of our safety expectations, please ask. We will slow down or even we will stop work if we need to do so to make that job safer. You always want to care for your family and look out for them. And that's part of building the relationship with the people that you work for. When you build those strong relationships and friendships, you truly actually care about the people you're working with. And so you're more inclined to actually look out for them when you have built that relationship. I hope and we hope that people choose to work for ARC because you know that we will look after you when you're on your site and we've got your back.